From Texas to New England, a total solar eclipse is on the way in about a week and a half. In our area, only see a partial eclipse this time. But if you want to see the real thing, get ready for a lot of crowds and some high prices. Robbie Owens going beyond the headlines tonight to show us a closer look. From restaurants in Little Rock, Arkansas. We're bringing in extra food, of course. <laughs> Number one, we're getting more. To stores in Burlington, Vermont. Those gas stations, restaurants, that kind of thing, uh, they're going to be packed. Cities and towns in the path of a rare total solar eclipse are preparing to welcome millions of people who will be looking up at the sky and also looking for places to stay and eat. It'll be a long day for sure. Uh, it'll be all hands on deck. For those thinking of traveling to an eclipse location, get ready for blinding prices. Average flights to Little Rock are more than $600, Buffalo more than $700, and a ticket to Montreal is nearly $1,200. Coming to the Dallas-Fort Worth area will cost even more. Prices for flights landing here the day before the eclipse are almost $1,900. There is a cheaper option. Fly to Nashville for around $340 and then drive three hours west to the path of totality. However, lodging won't be cheap. We've seen a surge in demand for hotels. Hopper lead economist Haley Berg says some cities are seeing prices 500% higher than normal. A stay in Buffalo the night before the eclipse is more than $900. Consider staying at hotels outside of the path of totality and driving into the path in the afternoon on Monday. That way you'll pay a lower rate but can still experience the eclipse. Berg says if you want to go, make those plans now before the rates go even higher. Robbie Owens, CBS News, Fort Worth, Texas. Of course, we also want to remind you about eye safety. It's simple. Don't look directly at the eclipse. If you're planning to view it, wear special purpose solar filter glasses that are officially tagged ISO 123122 compliant. Doctors say parents should also be careful because it can be awfully difficult for kids to keep those glasses on. You want to actually, in my opinion, kind of avoid them even looking at the eclipse if possible. Never look directly at the sun. Always wear the right eclipse sunglasses if you are going to look at the sun and make sure that those are coming from a reliable source. And of course, do not use binoculars or special lenses to magnify the event. Those devices can focus the sun's rays into your retina and cause even more damage.